Good morning, everyone. My name is Chief Keith Cross of the Aurora Police Department. I want to start out by saying that this was a very unfortunate situation for everyone involved. My hope is that we will all support one another and help each other get through this difficult situation that unfolded yesterday. This is an active investigation. And as a result, there are certain questions you may have that cannot yet be answered regarding this incident. That being said, we want to go over the facts we do have with you at this time. Aurora police officers responded to a 911 call of a subject armed with multiple knives threatening family members at 1038 yesterday morning from someone inside a residence in the 900 block of Colorado Avenue. When officers arrived on the scene, they encountered the subject holding the knives in the doorway of the home, threatening to kill everyone. Officers made efforts to verbally de-escalate the situation while issuing multiple commands for the subject to drop his weapons. The subject then turned his attention to officers, threatening to kill them. While officers were working to evacuate the other family members from the premises, the subject exited the residence and engaged the officers in the threshold of the garage while still armed with the knives. Officers again gave multiple commands for the subject to drop his weapons before utilizing less lethal options in an attempt to stop the subject from harming anyone. The armed subject charged an Aurora police officer who while retreating was forced to discharge their firearm to protect themselves. Officers then immediately began life-saving measures to help stabilize the subject until medics from the Aurora Fire Department arrived. The subject was transported to a local hospital where he is listed in critical condition. The officer involved in the incident was taken to a local hospital per department policy and was later released. No responding officers or other persons were injured. Per policy, all officers that responded to the incident have been placed on administrative leave. The Kane County Major Crimes Task Force is conducting an independent investigation into this incident. An officer involved shooting is a traumatic incident for everyone involved. Anytime there's an incident of this nature, we understand that everyone involved is personally affected. We're providing support for our officers as well as the family of the subject. I will now turn things over to Chief Dave McCabe of the Aurora Fire Department. Good morning, everybody. I am Chief Dave McCabe, the Aurora Fire Department. The Aurora Fire Department was dispatched for a shooting victim at 1046 AM yesterday. Medic three with two paramedics, engine three with two paramedics and a firefighter, and battalion two arrived on the scene at 1049. The EMS shift commander arrived at 1051. The crew states that they witnessed life-saving measures being done to the victim by officers on the scene prior to their arrival. We continued treating the patient, administering medication through an IV to help the patient be sedated, and also continued ongoing treatments for other wounds. The units were on scene for six minutes before transporting at 10.55 a.m. and arriving at the hospital shortly after. Once arrived at a hospital, our personnel continued to assist the hospital personnel with treatment of the victim. The Medic 3 personnel strongly believe that the rapid care given by the Aurora police officers greatly increased the patient's chance of survival. I'll now take a few questions. Yes, ma'am. Uh, WGN, have uh, Aurora police had contact with this family or this particular young man in the past? Uh, we have been to the residents in the past, yes. What type of incidents were it was because we spoke to neighbors and family and they talked about mental health uh, situation at the home that police were, were aware of? I can't really discuss the, any mental health issues because that's protected information, so I can't really discuss that to be honest with you. Has he been arrested before? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. Uh, what is, um, can you give a, a name and age or? Uh, we're not divulging that information uh, because uh, it's still an ongoing investigation, as I mentioned, so. So, not even the age? No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, there weren't. Yes, ma'am. You mentioned less 
lethal options yes, that officers could have used to elaborate on that? Uh, I can't because that's part of the investigation. I can only tell you that that's an option that's uh, used so you don't have to use deadly force. Uh, it's, it's, um, we have a use of force continuum and there's, you know, verbal commands and it goes up uh, to, you know, um, empty hand control and then less lethal and, and, and uh, so it's up. Th those options were utilized. First, the officers gave verbal commands um, and that didn't seem to work. Then the officers had to try to use less lethal uh, because you have a, a subject armed, but there was, um, that was an attempt to not use deadly force. Unfortunately, because of the subject's actions with him running towards the officer with the, uh, the knives, th things escalated. Well, again, yeah, so the officers were given the commands. The less lethal options did not work. Um, the subject began to run at the officer with the knives, and because of he closed the distance very quickly, the officer was retreating and then had to use uh, deadly force to protect himself. And then out of the garage and then the shooting happened outside of the garage? Or were they that that, that, that's part of the investigation still. I can't give you those details, but uh, that, that's part of the investigation. That'll come out uh, a little bit later. Are yes, ma'am? Can you ma describe the types of, of knives or what the weapons are? No, I, I can't give you those details either because that's part of the investigation. Was it someone from inside the house called? Was it, it, was a family so it, it was someone from inside the residence that called us. One more question. Could, could you talk about the protocol that's in place right now in terms of responding to mental health situations in Aurora? The protocol for responding to mental health issues, uh, if, if it's a call of mental health, if someone calls and says there's a mental health issue going on at the residence, um, we will first send two officers. Uh, preferably, we'd like to get uh, one of our crisis intervention team um, people to, to respond, but that's not always possible, given um, we assign people to certain areas of town and um, we, uh, we have to look at our resources to see if we can actually send someone, but that wasn't uh, the call that came in. The call that came in was a person who was uh, inside the residence, armed with knives, arguing with family members. That was the, the call that came in. Thank so, you very much. I still have a question. So thank you for providing more updates. Go Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.